going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Now, I'd like to welcome everybody here to X Sports Network tonight for a baseball game in between Loretta High School and Summertown High School. We're down at Loretta tonight. Kind of run through Loretta's lineup real quick. Should have done had that pulled up, I guess. You will have leading off for Loretta, playing shortstop, Mason Tibble, hitting in the two hole. Playing first base, Kaysen Springer. But, uh, in the three hole, Clint Seymour will be catching for them tonight. Carter Daniel is pitching for Loretta tonight. Miles Moore will be playing left field, hitting in the five hole. Jackson Tragula will be playing center field in the six hole. Dylan Thompson will be playing right field, hitting in the seven hole tonight. Lucas Laxon playing second base, hitting in the eight hole. And Grant Fisher playing third base, hitting in the nine hole for Loretta tonight. Loretta will be the home team. We are here at their park tonight. Be back at Summertown tomorrow night for that game. We'll kind of run through Summertown's lineup. It's going to be Grayson Burleson leading off, pitching for Summertown tonight. Casey Blackwood playing center field in the two hole. Kane Kinnick playing first base tonight, hitting in the three hole. Aiden Perez playing left field in the four hole. Zach Staggs is catching tonight in the five hole. Jackson Bennett playing third base. Hitting in the six hole. Keegan McCafferty playing right field. Hitting in the seven hole. Ryder Blackwood will be playing shortstop in the eight hole. And Matthew Luffman playing second base for us tonight. Hitting in the nine hole. It's kind of the lineups there. Uh, everybody knows this is always a a competitive game. I mean, this is Joe. This is this is one of them. You know, it's it's a rival team. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, and I enjoy the games. I mean, it's going to get very competitive tonight on both sides. And you know, I. Just a good ball game. That's what I'm after. Yep, that's what I'm here to see. Our guest announcer this evening is Riggins Brow. He is three years old. Riggins, when you, when, just when you get ready, give us your best play ball. Play ball. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Grayson Bartleson is going to step in, get the first pitch tonight from Carter Dang. Got Carter listed as the pitcher in the D8, so if he comes off the mound, I'm sure he'll stay in the lineup in that same hole. Grayson's going to take an off speed pitch for strike one. Comes set here, delivers. Grayson swings through that fastball. Strike two, goes down to 0 2. Carter comes set here. Ball is going to be drove into the gap out in right center field. Be off the wall. Grayson's going for two. He is going to have a stand-up double on that. That ball was hitting no man's land out there to lead the game off, Joe. It was. I mean, he hit it on the nose out there. Yeah. It got out there quick. Couldn't nobody make a play on it. Setting his high, if I was a betting man, I would say that was his slider, and it looked like it was running away from Grayson. Grayson just put a good swing on it and drove that thing in the right field. That'll bring up Case and Blackwood. Hitting in the two hole, playing center field tonight. Daniels is going to come set with a runner at second. Nobody out. Delivers. Case and squares the bunt. Pitch is up for ball one. I don't know if that wasn't a waste pitch, Joe, just to see if he was going to bunt. Right. Infield's now in on both sides. Squires again pulls back. That was a strike on the outside corner. Yeah, I mean, that's the pitcher wanting yeah. to bunt right there, it looks yeah. like. Yeah, well, you're trying to move a runner to third right here, so you want it to go down that first baseline in my mind. So One ball, one strike, nobody out, runner at second. Does get that bunt down. That's going to be a no man's land. That's going to get almost That's, into the five six yeah, hole it, over there. It did. He hit. The, he bunted that just hard enough to get it past the pitcher. Does put him at first base safe. So 
you know, with that, Mason Tibble, Mason Tibble holding Grayson on at second. I mean, that bunt couldn't have been placed no better. And I'm thinking first base side, just get him on. Yes. Or just move the runner, but he burned it just hard enough to get it back past the pitcher. The other two teams in our district, Lewis County, Mount Pleasant, is playing bottom of the fourth. Lewis County is up six to nothing. It's going to bring up Kane Kinnick for Summertown with nobody out. A runner at first, runner at third. Ball is going to be down and away. Ball one. Kane's going to step back in. Mason's adding to his lead over there. He is gone. Kane's going to take a strike. They do throw at him. They call him out at second, which I didn't. I couldn't I see couldn't. it. I couldn't see it for the the player for Mason. I couldn't see the tag. But I couldn't tell. Coach Burleson is out. Want to argue it a little bit? We do have a replay here. Hopefully. If our camera guy had everything right. Yeah. Yeah. I I think he's out, Great Jason. He he did tag him in the back, and he got him in the. Behind, but I, you know, kind of had the base blocked there. Mason doing his job out there, kind of had the base blocked up a that little was a bit. Good job by Mason. It was, and I mean, he did tag him, and I think he got him before he got to the base, just just a touch on the replay. Kane Kenny's going to step back up. One ball, one strike, one out, runner at third. Corners are in for Loretta here. Kane's going to drive that ball into right field. Going to be deep enough to get the run. That will be our RBI. That's a good job right there by Kane. Just take that ball and hit it backside in the right field and get that run in. Does give us two outs, though. Going to bring up Aiden Perez. Aiden's been hitting the ball well. He's worked his way up through the lineup, thrown to the four hole. He's been, he's been swinging it pretty good. He has. First pitch here delivered to him. We'll take strike one. Looked a little up. As long as he stays consistent, I'm good with it. Yep. Aiden swings through that one for strike two. Daniels might have added a little to his fastball here, Joe. He might have. I... Ball's going to be up. Red 91. Come set here, deliver the one ball, two strike. We got an all speed, gonna be up. All right, call strike three on that outside corner. That ball's down the way. Like I said, that's, as long as we're consistent there, the kidders has gotta learn to hit that, but we gotta stay consistent in that spot. So we'll take a little break. This is Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals.
night. We're back here, Loretta High School. Grayson Burleson's on the mound for Summertown. Mason Tibble's leading off for Loretta here. Get their bottom of the first inning. Tayson Springer will be on deck, playing first base for him today. Grayson comes set here, delivers the first pitch. Gonna be up. Ball one. We have fastball in there for strike one. Even the count up, one one. Racing delivers. That breaking pitch there didn't have enough bite on it. Didn't quite get back down where it needed to. Was it kinda two balls, one strike? Kind of stayed up and in there. Gonna be a fast ball. Hard ground ball hit through the five six hole for a base hit for Loretta. You get a lead off runner on. And Mason Tibble brings up Cason Springer. Swinging from the left side today. He's picking the signs up from Coach Weathers down at third base. Clint Seymour will be on deck. And Jackson Bennett in on the grass down here at third base with a lefty in. Thinking we may see a bunt. Pitch delivered home. Swung through. Strike one. He picks over to first. Nice pick over by Kane. Bank Will out there down here the other night. He let get by him over at third. He told me we got in the truck. He should have just dropped and blocked it. Squares the bunt. Takes strike two. All speed pitch out there on that outside corner. Makes it 0-2. You know, he had that one got away from him over there that he could have got out there, I think, and blocked up. He said he wasn't letting nothing else by, even if he wasn't if he's missing teeth. Pick over again, gets back safe. Tibble here in the bottom of the first inning. Done got his uniform good and dirty. Mason comes set here, delivers to the plate. Swung through for strike three. Be the first out of the inning. Bring up Clint Seymour. Catching for them today. It's a dangerous left-handed hitter right here, Joe. This kid can swing it a little. Yeah, I've, I've watched a few, tried to watch a few of their games. I've seen, you know, they got some good bats on the team for sure. Yeah, pick over to first again. Tibble's back there safe again. Nothing else, we're going to make him tired of getting up and down. Yeah. All-speed pitch for a called strike. It's a nice pitch. Yeah, it had a lot of movement to it, it looked like, from where I'm sitting. Yeah, it does. Racing comes set here. Delivers home. It's going to be drove in, lifted out into left field. Perez is coming on. Don't quite get there. Does keep it in front of him. With a base hit into left field for Seymour. Bring up the pitcher, Carter Daniels. Of Miles Moore on deck. Carter's looking to get that one run back, but uh, they give up on a couple of on a hit in the first inning. He called ball down and away. Another dangerous bat in this lineup. Pitch is going to be up for ball two. Makes the count 2 0. One out. Runner at first and second. That breaking pitch in there. I wasn't expecting that pitch right there. No. I don't think Carter was either. Racing comes set. Two balls, one strike. Delivers. It's going to be up and in for ball three. Make it 3 1 with one out. Two runners on. Right 
Racing delivers here. We have fastball. I don't know. That's da that's down and away. We did get, we had one caught on us there a while ago too. So I mean yeah. that that pitch is down and away a little bit. But the umpire he's he's calling it a strike tonight. So like I said, stay consistent. The batters will make adjustments. Mason Tibble steals third. They're on Grayson. Do try to get it over there. The throw over there was a little high. Jackson couldn't get the tag down. So now we're three balls, two strikes, one out. Runners, both runners do move up. One standing at second and third now. Base hit will score two. Racing comes set and delivers to the plate. Gonna be ball four. It's like Coach Vardison's gonna come out and have a word with his pitcher right here. So we'll take a little break. This is baseball on Exports Network. Efficiency. Reliability, accuracy. Move forward with your real estate sale or purchase with Title and Escrow of Lawrence County, the most experienced closing team around. Working with clients locally and throughout the state, we offer a wide range of services, including the expertise of an on-staff attorney, backed by our more than 49 years experience in titles and closings. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind when you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands. With All right, we're back. Miles Moore's going to step in with one out and bases juiced here. Runner on every bag. Corners are going to be in. Going to be delivered down and in. Ball one. Pitch is going to be away for ball two. Racing toes the rubber back. Two balls, no strikes, one out. Bases loaded. Ball Make it 3-0. Three. Oh. Here against Miles Moore. It's delivered. Going to be a fast ball in there for a strike. Three one count. Bases loaded. One out. And called strike two. Ball's bell tied, but it's on that outside corner. It wasn't. It is. Grayson comes set, delivers the 3-2. It's going to be grounded towards the shortstop. We'll get one. That's all we're going to get. get. Matthew. So they do score the run. Gives us two outs. Bring up Jackson. How do you say that last name, Timmy? Tragula. 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 Like Dracula with a T. All right. <laughs> That's the way I try to remember it. That'll work. Tragula. Hey, great center fielder. This kid's got some range out there, too. He can go get one. Got a good arm. They got runners first and third, two outs. Miles Moore over at first. Got a pretty good lead. First pitch is going to be up. We ball one. So that's racing comes set here, delivers. Runner does go. Going to be fouled back in the net. Even it up, 1-1. One, one. Uh, I didn't catch it a while ago, but uh, evidently when Carter Daniels got on first, they put a pinch runner in for him. That's going to be number seven, Jaden Aaron, standing at third. Miles got him a lead over there again. Delivered to the plate. Going to be two. called strike two. That off-speed breaking pitch again. Tracker's going to step back in. Another left-handed hitter here for Loretta. They've got a few. Pitch is delivered. It's going to be called ball. Ball Looked is up out. and away. Makes it two balls, two strikes. As Moore does move up to second base on that. Tracker a chance to get a couple of RBIs here on a base hit. Ball swung through and missed for strike three. So 
they evened it back up here. Had a few more base runners than Summertown did. Loretta uh, done a good job there moving runners when they got them on and uh, putting a couple of hits together and uh, being very patient with uh, pitcher for Summertown, Grayson Bartison. So we'll be swapping sides back up. Should be Zach Staggs leading the inning off for Summertown when they come up. It's baseball on Exports Network. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're gonna put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone. All right, as Summertown's catcher, Zach Staggs is going to step in, get his first look at Daniels here tonight. Jackson Bennett will be on deck. First pitch is fouled back into the net here. Sound like somebody's car got hit. I love these sound effects, Will. We need some of them. I don't like barking dogs and stuff. Will. Pitcher comes set here, delivers. Going to be in the dirt away for ball one. Last year we had barking dogs at home, Timmy. I don't know if they're still out there or not. There <laughs> I don't know if they're still in that pen over there or not. There was a pen to right field over there that had about three in it. They strike two. Pitch is going to be fouled off. Count will stay one ball, two strikes. Pitcher comes set here, delivers. Zach swings through that one for strike three. Good location right there on that pitch. Gonna be called strike. That's that. That's that same piece, Joe. Yeah. I mean, he's staying. He's staying consistent with it down there. Got to learn to hit it. This is Jackson Bennett. Loretta's moving her infield around. Gonna bring Fisher in at third and on the grass. Jackson swings through that and fouls it back into the net. There's a Summertown softball leading CA in the top of the six, two to nothing. It's a big game for Summertown up there tonight. We called strike three. It's that breaking pitch. That thing just floated right that, in there. That's that was a good pitch. Yeah, right that's there. that's tough on a batter, and it's a heck of a pitch by a pitcher for sure. We'll bring up our Summertown's right fielder, Keegan McCafferty. The shortstop, Ryder Blackwood, will be on deck. Pitch is up and away. Ball one. The Lewis County Mount Pleasant score in the bottom of the fifth. Lewis County's up eight nothing. If anybody's interested in that. Pitch is going to be up and away again for ball two. Makes it 2-0. Ah, Keegan, Keegan just kind of swatted at that and it got on him pretty quick. He didn't know if he wanted to swing yeah, at it or not. No, it was, it was two balls, one strike. Here's Daniel comes set. In the dirt, ball three. Makes it 3 1. Keegan's going to hit that ball out into the right field. Just kind of a lazy fly ball. Right footer's up and under. Makes the play. Be the third out of the inning as they're swapping sides. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Export Show. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, 
Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. All right, back here in Loretta. Don't like there's any defensive changes for Summertown. Leading off for Loretta is number 23, Dylan Thompson. Playing right field for Loretta tonight. Now back to right fielder number 23, Dylan Thompson. Score is one to one. Pitch is gonna be up. Ball one. Person delivers that one down for ball two. Makes it 2 0. Be up and away for ball three. Goes down here 0 3. See if he can't figure out how to come back and get him. Pitch is delivered. Strike on that outside corner. Makes it 3 1. Called strike two on Thompson here. I think he was taking that in all the way too, Joe. Yeah, didn't I think like so. he was. <clears throat> didn't like he was no. wanting to swing. Brings it to three two. The ball's going to be in the dirt. Ball four. Put the leadoff runner on for Loretta. Bringing up Lucas, Lucas Laxon. Playing second base, hitting in the eight hole tonight. Grant Fisher be on deck. <clears throat> Coach Weathers runs through his signs down there. Lackson steps in, takes strike one. Weathers is going to call timeout and talk to Lucas. Don't know if he missed a sign there or exactly what that yeah, conversation was about, but I don't know. he I did take it. a fastball just right down the middle. Pretty good lead over at first. Squares the bunt, gonna foul that one straight back. Makes it strike two. Laxon's gonna step back in. No balls, two strikes, nobody out. Dylan Thompson still at first base. Pick over there. He's back safe. Grayson comes set here. Delivers the 0-2 pitch. Squares the bunt. Going to bunt it foul down the first baseline. He'll be out. Yep. So Lucas will be out on that one. Bring up Grant Fisher. Number one, playing the third base tonight. He steps in, get his first pitch here with one out. Gonna be a fast ball. It's gonna be grounded towards shortstop. Get the out at second. Safe at first. 
That was just a slow roller ground ball. I was afraid right. I was afraid Ryder was gonna be a little late. Oh. Shortstop sometimes gonna be a little late getting that two second. That was close out there. It was. But he kinda come up and snap throw it yeah. over pretty quick. He got through it pretty quick. It's gonna bring up the lead off for Loretta, Mason Tibble. He had a lead off single in the top of the first inning and scored the one run that they did accumulate. An off speed pitch called strike. That's out there on that corner. Yes. I mean, that's. But, I mean, it's, he's been he's consistent. Been there, he's so been I consistent mean, out there. But Both teams are going to have to realize that and get ready to hit it out there. Boy, is that breaking pitch again going to be called a ball? That was up. I'm assuming. Or out. I don't, know. I don't really know. Ball is drove into center field. Casey Blackwood comes on, makes that play. That ball was diving pretty hard on him out it there. Was that hard. ball was hit hard by Mason Tidwell in the center field here. But Blackwood does get there, makes the play for the third out of the inning. So no damage from either side. We're going into the top of the third inning. We'll take a little break. This is baseball on X Sports Network. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans for every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. All right, we're back here. A few updates. Uh, Lewis County over Mount Pleasant, 10 to nothing. Finished that one early. Lawrence County High School was at Lawrence County tonight. Uh, playing Marshall County. Playing Marshall County. They win. They run through Marshall County, 10 to nothing. Summertown softball is up 7 to nothing. In the top of the 6th. Top of the 6th. So, we got Lawrence County softball playing tonight, too. Right, Will? Yes. Going to be called strike one. Will's going to try to get me an update on that Lawrence County softball game. 13 to 9, Lawrence County in what? In the seventh. In the seventh. Lawrence County's going to win that. Looks like. Ryder Blackwood swings through that one for strike two. Goes down to 0 2. Matthew Luffman will be on deck for Summertown. Ryder's going to foul that one back. Little hustle by Coach Moore coming out of the dugout, jogging over and picking a baseball. I didn't know he could still move that way. Well. Ryder squares the bunt, fouls that and off. Oh, look here! Here he comes again. Yeah, he's yeah he's out. He fouls that and off. Yeah, both teams have squared the bunt with two strikes. Matthew Luffman's going to step in with one out. Lead off Grayson Burleson. Be on deck for summertime. That pitch was up for ball one. Come set here to deliver to Matthew. Swings through that one. That pitch is about in the same spot. Yeah, he swung was. at it. But not a bad location by Carter Daniel. Come set here, delivers. Swung through for strike two. It amazes me to watch these pitchers work this day and time. I mean, it, they're they're all quick, ain't they? Yes. I mean, it's just bang, bang. Ball's going to be drove. Nice great, play great right play there. by Lucas Laxon at uh, second base, diving, making a play there in the edge of the grass. That that ball gets through. It's it's a guaranteed single. That was Lucas a great just play. that was an awesome play right there by Lucas Laxon, second baseman for Loretta. No, Will said, "Tell him he's sorry." I'm going to tell his mama that you missed it. 
She will tell her after the game. Going to bring up Grayson Bartis. Ball is going to be down the way for ball one. That That's hard to get to, Will. I mean, as hard as that ball was hit and you trying to flip a camera and get it there, it just, oh, that's yeah. tough. That was a hard well, hit ball. Yes. Ball's going to be called a strike. That's it. That was on that outside that's, corner. Yeah, I mean, it's, low. you hear some fans from Summertown hollering, come on, but he's been calling it both ways. Yeah. I mean, man. that's. Grace is going to drive that ball. Foul. Foul. Not like he got another car. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Case and Blackwood on deck here for Summertown. Carter comes set, delivers. It's an all speed pitch left up. Grayson's going to take. Makes it ball two. You know, not a bad pitch right there by Daniel. Trying no, to get him to I chase like a, something up. Uh, yeah, I like a waste pitch. All speed pitch up. Comes back. Fast ball. Grayson's going to foul it off out over the first base side bullpen again. Because, you know, he chased that ball up. If he hits it, it's going to be a pop up. Oh, yeah. Especially an all speed pitch. Ball's tough to hit. But two balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on. Carter Daniel comes set here, delivers to the plate. Grayson swings to it. That pitch was up and in on him. Grayson swings to it for strike three. So another strike out there for Carter. We'll be swapping sides. We'll take a little break. Baseball on Exports Network. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings. Plus, they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family-owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. All right, back here at Loretta for a little more baseball. Was, uh, stepping in for the Mustangs. Be Case and Springer, Casey first Springer. baseman, stepping in to lead the inning off for the Loretta Mustangs. Grayson delivers the first pitch. going to be up and in. Ball one. One set here, delivers. Will be strike one. That was... Ball was in there, too. I mean, it was up and in, yeah. too, I thought. About bell tie, but it was still in there, so. Be an all-speed pitch he don't chase. Two balls, one strike. Zach tries to check down the first base umpire, and he makes no motion. I think they've changed that now. you got to ask the home plate umpire first, right, and it's his, his discretion. Uh, yeah, I think he checks with the yes. field umpire. That's going to be a fast ball, swung through and missed. Makes it two balls, two strikes. Bartison comes set here. Delivers. Ball's going to be up. Ball three, makes it 3-2. Bartison's been working in some deep counts here tonight. He has. Comes set here, delivers. Ball's going to be up. Ball four. A lot of patience out of the low red batter so far. Yeah, I've been very patient with him. Bring up Clint Seymour. Catcher for Loretta Mustangs here tonight. 
Jason Springer at first, got some wheels over. He's got him a muffin mid he's putting on. It's from Pete College Strike. I don't know, that was a good pitch by Grayson, but I don't know that uh, Seymour could have hit it if he tried. Yeah, I don't. The way, it broke, way, it, yeah, way it broke in as deep as it was. Pitch is going to be up and away. It's at one ball, one strike. Was it in there on him, Will? It was way inside. Yeah. Catcher's lunging. Ball is going to be fouled back into the net. He stayed pretty consistent with that ball in that far this night, though. I mean, it's so... Like I said, as long as he stays consistent with it, I'm good. Yep. They got to make that adjustment just really tough on a left-handed stick here. One ball, two strikes, runner at first, nobody out. Pitch is delivered here to see more. He holds up on that fast ball up and away. Evens yeah. it up 2-2. Two, two. Not a bad pitch by Grayson there yeah. either, trying to get him to chase something up there. Pick over to first. He's back in there. Made that a little close over there. Yeah, it was. Pitch is going to be popped up here on the infield. Ryder Blackwood is going back, makes the play. We'll be the first out of the inning. Brings up the pitcher, Carter Daniel. Miles Moore will be on deck. Hey, I can at least understand these kids from Loretta's walk-up songs. You know, some of them that they play at Summertown, I don't even know what they're saying. Carter steps in, get his first pitch. Down away for ball one. Grayson steps back off the rubber. Summertown lost the run <laughs> in the softball game. Ball's going to be hit through the 3 4 hole. Keegan McCaffrey's coming in on it. Springer, Springer with his wheels. Springer with his wheels is going to make it get all the way to third. Should be, no, they've changed pinch runners. Number 19. Okay. Uh -oh. You cut it off Can't my thing. Can't see him on the bottom of that line up down there. Number three, Miles Moore. Bring up Miles Moore, one out. Runners now at first and third. Foul that one off for strike one. And that base hit through the three, four hole. So first base from Summertown, Kane Kinnick did make a diving, diving yeah, stab at it. that was going to be tough. Yeah. Especially him holding the runner on, having to bounce out, and then where it was hit. Got He's him. got this in at first. Fake the third, go to first. Dude get the out over there. We'll be know. two outs, runner at third. I don't know who that pinch runner is. I'm not showing a 19 on there. Yeah, I cut the bottom off the line up when I took the picture. Sorry. Miles Moore's gonna step back in now with one strike. Do have two outs. Runner still at third. Pretty good wheels over at third over here in Casey yes. Springer. Pitch is gonna be delivered in. Zach goes and gets it, keeps it in front. You know, the way he got from first to third on that hit a minute ago, anything by Zach, he's scoring easy. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of room back here. An all speed pitch for strike two. Is it one ball, two strikes? Two outs, runner at third. Miles Moore steps back in. Bartleson toes the rubber and delivers. It's going to be called ball. Well, that's now that's that pitch that we've been getting all night. That, yeah. You know, both sides, I've been saying he's been he's been in there on it, and we don't get it that time. So 
Grayson or Bartison don't get that pitch this time. So. Summertown's dugout wanted it. I mean, it was inside for sure. It was most definitely inside. It was. So. Bartison comes set and delivers. That pitch is going to be up. We'll Makes make it three two. Full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner and Casey Springer stand at third. Pitch is delivered. It's going to be in the dirt for ball four. Going to put Miles Moore at first base. Brings up Jackson Tragula, center fielder for Lord Rudder here tonight with two runners on. Got an RBI opportunity here. Triglia. Runner is gone. Going to be bunted out in front of the base. Grayson Burleson goes, gets it, throws over to first. Hey. Oh, no. They're going to call him safe. Is uh, Nobody's at third now. They go first to third. I, I don't know how he's safe. I mean, Kane did have to come off the bag to get it or step through the bag, but he swapped feet. He was still standing on the bag when he caught the ball. Huh? He was still on it. He was just trying to get out of the runner's way looking at the replay. Yes, he's still on the bag. He just had to go behind the runner to catch the ball. The ball was through behind him. Loretta does, Loretta does score a run there. That's actually a good job by – Kane to do what he had to do because that ball was going to be up the line. Yeah. So, but looking at the replay, I mean, I know it happens a lot quicker. Well, some umpire now is pointing at Coach Bartison. Yeah, I mean. I mean, yeah, it was, I mean, it was happening in live speed and, you know, we had that happen earlier uh, this year. Kane had to swap his feet and, uh, but by doing that, by swapping his feet, the umpire, I mean, he hesitated to call the out, too, out or safe. Kane was staring at him, kind of backing off the field. He thought he was out, so that allowed uh, Moore to move all the way to third. So they do score, played another run, makes it two to one, Loretta, with two outs. Runner's going to move up, ball one. So Loretta Mustangs now have runners standing at second and third. With two outs. We called strike. We Dylan Thompson, right footer for the Mustangs hitting right here. One ball, one strike. Morrison delivers a fast ball for strike two. Makes it one ball, two strikes. Have two on. Pitch is delivered. Swung through for strike three. Grayson gets out of that inning. Summertown does give up a run there. Makes the score two to one. Loretta going into the top of the fourth inning. So Case and Blackwood will be leading off for Summertown. Kane Kinnick will be on deck. So we'll be at two, three, four. We'll take a little break. Baseball on the Xports Network. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. We're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. ERCU, not for profit, for service. Tennessee Flight Training. We are training the next generation of pilots. Come and see why Tennessee Flight Training is the best way to learn to fly. Tennessee Flight Training, the skies are calling.
All right, we're back. Casey Blackwood's going to step in here against Carter Daniel. Get his second attempt against him. Here in the top of the fourth inning. And delivers. Fastball for a strike one. Pitch is going to be up and in. Looked like a breaking pitch. It didn't break. Yeah. It was all speed, but it stayed in on. Casey had to duck and under that one. Carter comes set here, going to deliver the 1-1. One -one. Mm. Uh, kind of food. He had Casey food on that one, too. Good pitch, good pitch location. Ball's going to be down in the dirt. Makes it 2-2. Two -two. Pitch is going to be a wave. Ball three. Makes it a full count. Three balls, two strikes. There's a hitter right here with two strikes. You've got to protect anything close. Got to put the bat Daniel on. delivers. Going to ground ball. Oh, going to get through the five, six hole. Yeah, that took a bad hop right there on Fisher at third. He, he come over to feel it, and it just it jumped from over his head over there. Yeah, that's, that's tough. tough. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, I'm. Number 10, King Kitty. You can look at that two different ways. I mean, you can you could give Fisher an error on it, or you could, you know, I'm giving Blackwood a hit. That's what I, you know, yeah. if I'm scoring. I'm we'll bring up Kane Kinnick with Casey Blackwood at first. Kane had the deep fly ball for the RBI RBI earlier in the game. Sack, sack fly. Blackwood's got a good lead over there. Kane's going to swing through that off-speed pitch for strike one. Carter comes set. Pick over to first. Casey's back easy. Coach Burleson runs through all of his signs. No balls, one strike, nobody out. Casey Blackwood standing at first base for summertime. Kane Kinnick in the batter's box. Carter comes set and delivers. An all speed pitch left up for ball one. Make the count one ball, one strike. Ball's going to be drove into right field. Right footer's coming on. Does make ball, the play. play. Ball was hit over into the right center field gap. Right footer goes over and makes the play. Be the first out of the inning. He covered a lot of ground over there. Ball was hit about the same place Grayson Barlison's double was early, just wasn't hit nowhere near as hard. Right. It hung so, up in the air a little bit. Yeah, they had, to, they had to go back on Grayson's. They just run diagonally to get to that one. So, But still, two hard balls put in play by him tonight. I'm going to bring up P. Reyes. Summertown. Pick over to first as Blackwood gets back here with one out. Pitch is delivered. Blackwood's gone. Throw down. Blackwood's going to be in there safe. What was that pitch right there? A ball? The ball down the way. I was watching Casey. <laughs> yeah, I think that was. Seymour had a hard time. He had to go down and get that ball, then come all the way back up. Try to get it to the bag at second. Ball's going to be fouled off over into the softball field. Must not have been no car sitting there. <laughs> one ball, one strike, one out. Runner at second base for summertime. He hit that one to the only open parking spot, didn't he? Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. He's going to bunt that ah, one. He's going to get fouled on him, I think. Foul. Something I feel like that uh, what I've seen this year, Summertown has struggled with. They have, for sure. Getting that bunt down has been tough. So, Perez goes down one ball, two strikes. He's had some hits this year with this situation and this count. Been hitting the ball really well. Going to pick at him at second. He gets back. 
Actually, a good move back there. It was. It was close. Daniel's going to step off and reset. One ball, two strikes, one out. I think Carter Daniel's liking what the catcher's calling. Run through him again here. Got him one he likes. Come set here and delivers, which is going to be up, ball two, even it up 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, one out, runner at second. And Case and Blackwood. Yep. Going to be called strike three. That's it. I you know that ball's, I mean, it was that ball's uh, four to five inches outside, but he stayed. I mean, that's where it's been all night. So. Will be two outs. Bring up Zach Staggs, runner at second. Catcher for summertime. Carter comes set here. Casey Blackwood's gone. I don't know what he was thinking. He's going to get in a run down. Yeah, and they tag him. He does get the out. I mean, that's. That's something that, you know, in my mind, you don't do with two outs. I mean, you know, uh, so. Yeah. As he mean, does, he leaves over there and they holler step off. He steps off. He's got him hung up halfway. So, uh, uh, Low Runner Mustangs does get that out. We're going into the bottom of the fourth inning. Summertown still trails two to one. We'll take a little break. So it's baseball on Exports Network. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Huh? So we get back here. Lucas Lackson's going to step in, hitting in the eight hole, going to lead off for the Mustangs. Swings through the first pitch for strike one. Grayson standing on the rubber waiting on him. Ball's going to be up for ball one. Looks at one ball, one strike. Pitch delivered. That's that all-speed pitch in there for a strike. That's – man, that's a pretty pitch. Yeah. I mean, I'm, as a batter, you don't – you really ain't got much you can do with that. All right, come again. Lucas just going to reach out and slap it and file it back into the net here. Keep it at one ball, two strikes. Well, and you got a fastball that's as live as these guys, and you've got a breaking pitch that works good too. It, it, it makes them that much harder to hit. Yes, it does. Swung through that fastball for strike three. Will be the first out of the inning. Brings up the nine-hole hitter, Grant Fisher. Mason Tibble. 
be on deck. Fisher steps in, playing third base here for Loretta today. Hitting in the nine hole. He'll call time, step out of the box. Pitch is going to be in the dirt. Going to bounce off Zach's helmet out on the field. Fire walks it out to Grayson, checks it out, makes sure it ain't got no helmet marks in it. Give Zach a little bit of time back here. One ball, no strikes, one out. Burleson delivers. Must have been just a tad outside. It was it was in the left-handed batter's box. Grayson comes set here. It's just down for ball three. Makes it 3-0. Fisher steps in with a 3-0 count. Burleson delivers. Going to be in the dirt. Ball four. I'll bring up Mason Tidwell. Lead off for lower the Mustangs here tonight. Playing shortstop. Looks like Coach Burleson is going to call time, come out on the field. Have a little conversation. We'll take a little break. This is baseball on Exports Network. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Cares, we can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour, along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Cares isn't just a, it's a family, and we're a part of it. For more on our website, it's southeastcares.com, or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. All right, we're back as Grayson Bartleson does stay on the rubber for Summertown. No changes. Mason Tibble's going to step in here with one out and a runner at first. Then Grant Fisher pick over to first. Back easy. There's that in home. It's going to be popped up here on the infield. Ryder Blackwood's calling for it. He does make the play. Get us two outs. We'll be two outs, runner at first for Kaysen Springer. I think he's been on base both times tonight. Walk both times. Uh, I thought he got out his first at bat. May have. I don't know. That was too long ago, Timmy. I forgot. Yeah. Pitch is going to be up. Ball one. So that might have been a pitch out there. Yeah, I think they may have been expecting him to go. Zach, Zach Stagg's going to call timeout, jog out. Zach and Zach Stags, the catcher for Summertown. Grayson Burleson had a little conversation. Everything comes back set. Springer steps in. Takes a ball up. 2-0. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. 
runner in Grant Fisher at first. Pick over, he gets back easy. Racing comes set here, delivers to the plate. Be called ball on the inside corner. Will be 3 0. Put fastball in there for a strike. Makes it 3 1. Pick over to first. He's back easy. Racing comes set here, delivers the three one. It's going to be up for ball four. Looks like Coach Bartison's going to come out. Oh, I'm sure he's going to get Grayson right here. So we'll take a little break as they're swapping stuff up. Let everybody know what kind of changes we had when we come back. Baseball on Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. Why should you bank with Employee Resources Credit Union? We offer a wealth of services, including mobile banking, video banking, bill pay, and more. We also offer loan rates that are lower than those of our competitors. Employee Resources Credit Union has been a financial pillar since 1964, providing longtime support to members of the community. Join us and become part of the ERCU commitment. Not for profit, for service. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time. And nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something, maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. All right, we're back. So the batter for Loretta Mustangs with two on will be Clint Seymour. Is some changes on the infield. Uh, 
Huckabee's going to come in as pitcher. Kane Kinnick will move from first to third. Grayson Bartleson will take over at third. Jackson Bennett will move from third to second. So Ryder Blackwood stays where he's at. Huckle was going to tow the rubber here, deliver his first pitch of the game with two outs and two on. Must have been down. Called ball one. Have a hard time for Miss Height seeing the elevation. Yeah, it's hard it. to tell if they're down. Another catcher for Summertown acted like he liked it a lot. Pitch is delivered. We have ball outside. Two balls, no strikes, two outs, two on. We ball three. Breaking pitch out on the outside corner. Look, we'll come set here, deliver the 3 0 pitch. Be down and in for ball four. Going to load the bases up for the pitcher. Carter Daniel. Number seven's going to run for catcher there, Clint Seymour. Jaden Aaron running for the catcher. Well, Carter Daniel with two outs and bases loaded. Number five, Carter Daniel. Summertown's infield's all back, just looking for the one out. Ball's going to be fouled back over our heads. Strike one. Up goes back in the stretch here. Comes set, delivers. Ball's going to be fouled down the first baseline. We'll into the bullpen. The bullpen. Makes it 0-2. Oh, no balls, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded. Huckle will come set here, delivers. Ball's going to be drove into center field. Blackwood's got a beat on it. Makes the play, be the third out of the inning. Bases so, loaded. And bases loaded. Get out of it right there. Score stays Summertown 1, Loretta Mustangs 2. We'll take a little break as they're swapping sides. This is baseball on Exports Network. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us. Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today.
All right, we're back. Zach Stagg is going to step in. To case and bite, Wood got picked off on the bases a while ago while he was in the box. He'll get his chance to finish his at bat. Zach's going to rip one down the third baseline. It's going to be at least a double. That ball's going to get out there. Miles Moore comes over, makes a good play to cut it off before it gets to the fence. Turns it loose, throws it in the third. Piece of lead off right there. Good attack right there. You yeah. know. It'd be nice if there was a runner on second when that happened. <laughs> oh, it's always nice when you got runners on second and somebody gets a double. I'll bring up Jackson Bennett. Is that nobody going to run for Zach? Don't look I like it. I don't know that we got anybody as fast as Zach. We'll get two outs. They'll probably run for him so we can get his stuff on. But I mean, Zach runs well. Yeah, he runs well and does a pretty good job on the bases. So Jackson Bennett's going to step in. Zach paying attention to the dugout a while ago. Uh, good try. Foul yeah. ball. Jackson turns on that and hits that and foul down the third baseline. For the first strike. Fisher runs through some signs over there on third, letting everybody know what we're doing. Carter Daniel comes set, deliver here to Jackson Bennett. Deliver it up, up and in. We'll take it for a ball, makes it 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. Motor toes the rubber, gets the sign he wants. Come set here, delivers. Going to be up. Two balls, one strike. Pitch is delivered here. Going to be called strike. Make the count. Two balls, two strikes. That pitch is just a little off the plate outside. It's been there all night, guys. I mean, it makes it 2-2. Two -two. Pitch is going to be up and in. Ball three. Bring, bring the, the count, count full. full. Three balls, two strikes, no outs. Runner at second base. I think Carter, pitcher here for Loretta, has been in this situation many times tonight. Throws that fastball in there for strike three. So Jackson swings through that one. Bring up Keegan McCafferty. Will be the first out. Number four, Keegan McCafferty. Keegan's going to tow in. Be his third at bat against Carter Daniel here tonight. Ball's going to be up. Ball one. He squares the bunt. They're going to back pick Zach. Oh, he's he's back, back in there, though. He did get back. I hook. That was a good shot right there from behind the plate right here from Seymour. He was almost out there in no man's land. I mean, yeah, and you got to watch Seymour. His kid's got a cannon back there. You know, he if does, he ain't uh, behind the plate, he's at shortstop. And he was on the mound here Saturday. I mean, the kid's got an arm for sure. That's so. a good throw. Yeah, keep an eye on him. So One ball, one strike, one out. Zach Stagg still at second base. Keegan did square the bun on that and took a strike. Squires here. Pulls back. Ball's going to be up and in for ball two. He can two. does square the bun again and pulls it back to slap hit. And two balls, calls. two strikes, one out. Daniel comes set here, delivers. That ball's going to be drove into right field. It's going to get down. We'll get down. Going to hold Zach Staggs up at third base. Ryder was waving him on from the on deck circle, but yeah. Coach Burleson wowed him yeah. up. Yeah, Coach had him wowed up. Ryder was hollering, come on. But 
Hey, that's, yeah. Yeah, you don't run on that arm. But had a pretty good shift on there for Keegan, but he just dropped it right in the right spot. And, uh, right center field. We'll bring up Ryder Blackwood with uh, Keegan McCafferty at first. Zach Staggs at second. One out. Seymour comes out and runs through their signs. Let his infield know what he's doing from behind the plate on this pitch. McCafferty gets a lead over at first. Zach Stagg's going to have nobody at home, so he'll have a huge lead here at third. Pitch is going to be up and away. I think that might have been a pitch out. Yeah, with Fisher. Fisher in, he's he's four or five steps in the grass for the Lord of the Mustangs, so Zach can stay even with him anyways. That's the only guy he's got to beat back to the bag. So Ryder squares the bunt, pulls back, takes a strike on the outside corner. Another one ball, one strike, one out. Ryder swings through that one. Be a strike two. Daniel comes set here, delivers. Ryder's going to hit that ball right back up the middle. They the go to first. Play is at one. Yeah, only play was at one. We do score the run. Ties the Summertown does score the run. Ties the ball game back up. Moves Keegan McCafferty over to. Second. Good job by Ryder. Just hit a ground ball back up the middle. About the only play that. The only play Ted will have. Ted will have was just going to one because Keegan was moving on the swing. That'll bring up Elijah Huckaba. He's batting and he takes Matthew's spot in the lineup. Takes Matthew Luffman's spot. Fast ball for strike one. Well, yeah, there you go. Looks like that had to be a strike. It was. Kind of slow rolled us a little bit back there. Umpire does. No balls, one strike, two outs. Keegan McCafferty standing at second base for Summertown. Huckable in the box, hitting. Be called strike two. Goes down 0-2. Swings through that one for strike three. Good pitching sequence right there. Done a good job to get out of it. Summertown does score one to tie the ball game up here in the top of the fifth inning. We'll be moving to the bottom of the fifth. So the Lord of the Mustangs come in and see if they can't do some damage. Some baseball on Exports Network. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. All right, we're back. 
Miles Moore's going to step in. Would like to say, you know, I think Miles is committed to go to Vol State to play baseball. And uh, hang on a second, let him hit right here. Huckabee comes set here, going to deliver to Miles. College truck. That delay. That's that delay. The that, there. Yeah. That ball looked away to me. Huckabee delivers. Ball is going to be grounded foul down the first baseline. Now put him down 0 2. Huckable delivers. An all speed pitch out on that outside for a ball. Not a bad spot. Now try to get the batter yeah. to chase something right there. I mean, one ball, two strikes. Huckable comes set here. Delivers. Ball must have just been a touch outside. Makes it 2 2. Let's bear that breaking pitch. Mower's going to foul it off into the third base dug. Yep. Kind of fisted it. Yeah, that was out. Yeah, that was out. Yeah. Welcome to come set here. Deliver the 2 2 to Moore. Does. Moore's going to hit a ground ball through the 5 6 hole for a base hit. Go back to what I was saying. Moore there, he uh, had committed to go to Vol State to play baseball. Go and, uh, and everything set up was going. And uh, I think a couple of weeks ago, gets a call and got offered a full ride academic scholarship to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. Yes. So he wasn't I for sure. He loves baseball. Wasn't really for sure what he wanted to do. I did talk to Gonna bring up Jackson Tragler, the center fielder. wasn't real sure what he wanted to do, and uh, I uh, talked to him down here last week, Friday night, and he hadn't really made up his mind. And you know, he kind of knew what the best idea was, but he loves baseball. Right. So I did talk to him the night before the game. He said he had called the coach at Ball State and told him that he would be going to UT on an academic full ride. Hey, you can't so blame him for that. No, you can't blame the kid, and that's huge, man. A full ride to uh, a full ride anywhere yes. is huge, especially on your academics. He must have got his smarts from his mama because I know his daddy pretty well. I, I don't think they came from Nick. <laughs> Huckabee finally delivers the pitch home. It's going to be in the dirt after he picks over at Miles Moore at first base a couple of times. Sorry, but uh, I think that's great for Miles. I mean, that's that's that that's a huge deal for him. I'd like to congratulate him here. And <coughs> Huckabee comes set. One ball, no strikes. Runner first. Delivered. Swung through. Strike one. One ball, one strike, no outs. Runner at first and more. A no what? Pitch. No pitch. No pitch. Call the ball. I didn't see what he did. Yeah, I didn't either, but he called it. The umpire called it immediately. So that'll move Moore to second base. I did see. I was watching Moore. I did see Moore dive back. I was looking at him. Over there, and I did see him dive back in the first. Yeah, it's a ball. Right. You got to come see it. Yeah. Yeah, he was a little quick on it. Huckabee. So moves Moore up to second base. Pitch is delivered. We have foul ball hit down the first baseline. Strike when it, two. When it left the bat, I thought it was going to be fair. Yeah. Where I'm sitting at. Yeah, I did too when it first left the bat. And if it is fair, Miles Moore scoring easy from second base. Yeah, because that would have been. You know, right over Grace in there. Yes. Yeah, it would have probably rolled a long ways in the grass. One ball, two strikes, nobody out. No other Mustangs have a runner at second base and Miles Moore. Pitch is delivered. It's going to be grounded down the first baseline. Will it's be going foul. to be, be foul again. Come back and do it all over again. One ball, two strikes. Hook will come set. Delivers his pitch. Swings through that one for strike three. Just the first out of the inning for Huckable. One 
bring up. They have made a substitution here. It's going to be Jaden Aaron coming in to hit in Dylan Thompson's spot. Don't know if he'll take the field for him, but he is hitting in the 7-0 here for Loretta Mustangs here in the bottom of the fifth. fifth. Sorry, I couldn't get my eyes to focus on that scoreboard. Huckle was going to come set here with a runner at second. Delivers. Be took. Strike one. That curveball from Huckable. Pitch delivered. It's going to be fouled off down the first baseline. Puts Aaron down 0 2 with one out. Miles Moore still at second base. Got these left field seats, right field seats. Yeah, I got some guys sitting pretty comfortable out in right field out in the flyers out there. Those are some good looking seats out they there. They are. Pitch is delivered. Swung through and missed. I think it was fouled actually into Zach Smith for strike three. We'll be Gets out us two outs. Two. So right we've now. got another hitter coming up here. They're just making Will's job harder over there. Yeah, they're uh, new guys. So for hitting for Lucas Laxon in the eight hole is number 10. Number 10, Riley Ellis. Riley Ellis. Riley, Riley Ellis. You cut the pitcher off so I didn't have it, but they announced it for me and got me. My bad. Pitch is going to be swung through and missed. Hey, this kid hit one deep down here last Friday night, I guess, in that second game. He was catching for uh, low rudder Mustangs. He's got a little pop in his bat, Joe. Ball's going to be down and away. Even up one and one. And one ball, one strike, two outs. Miles Moore still at second base for the Mustangs. Look what comes said here. Delivers. Ball's going to be lifted in the center field. Casey Blackwood should have a play on it, and he does. We'll Gets the third the out of the inning. So going into the top of the sixth inning in a tie ball game here, like we said, Joe, I just want it to be a good game. And it's it's, been, this has most definitely been a nail-biter the whole game from both man, sides, man. Sure. So uh, making a good ball game out of it. So we'll take a little break as they're swapping sides. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability, finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf, and this is Hustler Country. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. All right, we're back as the hitting changes that the Low Rudder Mustang did make. They do stay on the field as Jaden Aaron will go into right field and Riley Ellis goes to second base. Looks uh, like everything else is the, the same. same. Like uh, top of the lineup for Summertown as Grayson Burleson steps in. First pitch is down. Ball one. Made Grayson dance a little bit. Must have been down there close to his toes. Order comes set here, delivers. We have breaking pitch in on him for ball two. Order comes set, delivers a 2 0 pitch. Grayson's going to take that off speed for a strike. I think it was about bell tie, but it looked like he took about 15 mile an hour off of it. Yeah, it definitely had some movement, was slower. Be a fastball. Grayson's going to foul down the line. 
Even the count. Two balls, two strikes. Coach Bartleson makes the play over at third, so you know it wouldn't hit too hard. <laughs> Joe laughed. He just had his mic off. Sorry, I was coughing. <laughs> so, two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Thinks he's going to be fouled back. Like or a pitch it, run in on his yeah, hands. Yeah, that was a good pitch. It did. It run in, jammed him up pretty bad. Try it all over again. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Carter Daniel comes set here to deliver to Grayson Bartleson. Ball is going to be hit. Fire down the first baseline. First baseman makes a great play. Great play right there. Goes good over, play. backhands that ball. Backhands that ball down the line. Gets back up with it. Runs and tags the bag for the first out of the inning. It's a good play. That was a real good play. Did you get that in Will? No. Nope. Lord of the fans going to be mad at me. <laughs> so, I got the out. I just didn't get the catch. Didn't get the catch. It's tough to get over there that quick. That'll Case bring up Case and Blackwood. Sorry, well, Timmy. You're good. One out. Case and takes fast ball up for ball one. Know where he's at on his pitch count? I've got him at 80. About 80 pitch, that's pretty good. I mean, it could be plus, minus a few. It's going to be a ball in. Oh, he called it a oh, strike. Oh, he called it a strike, sorry. I don't think they thought he was sorry. Or yeah, so one ball, one strike, one out. You got to give him a minute, Timmy, before you make the call. Yeah, so Blackwood's going to swing through that one for strike two. There it is. It's, it's definitely inside. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Pitch is going to be down and away. I think that was a better pitch than the other one. He may have just given us one back. So, two balls, two strikes. Give Summertown here one back. An all speed pitch. Good job. That thing just dropped the bottom, just fell out of it right there at the plate. Two outs. Going to bring up the third baseman now, Kane Kinnick for Summertown. Eagles. Aiden Perez will be on deck. Kane's third attempt at Daniels. Ball's going to be hit fair down the third we'll baseline. Off the third base bag. Kane's going. I uh, thought he was going to. He holds up. Well, if it hadn't hit the third base bag, I think he could have got two out of that. But it hit the bag and jumped up and died about halfway out in the yeah. grass. Number 30, Aiden Perez. Oh. A base hit there with two outs. Going to bring up Aiden Perez. Yeah, he have and gets him a pretty good lead over at first. Ball's going to be in the dirt. He's going to move up to second. We'll get away from the catcher. Yeah, be careful out there, number 10. Got to know who you got behind the plate. Kid's got a cannon back here. He round second base out there. Seymour's down here looking at him. Rez now has got a runner in scoring position with one ball on him and two outs. Pitch is delivered. Rez is going to foul that one back over our heads. Get that other empty. People must – oh, oh, that broke something. That wasn't a car, though. It bounced. Believe, believe hit a windshield. Must believe have. I got the window in the concession stand. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runner at second for summertime. Daniels delivers. That's, yeah, that's a good pitch, man. That's – so One ball, two strikes, two outs. Carter comes set here, delivers home. Perez is going to take that for strike three. Leave the third out of the inning as they do throw down the second. So, so we will be moving into the bottom of the sixth inning in a tie ball game. So Huckle was going to jog back out for Summertown here. See if we've got any more changes. If we do, we'll let you know when we come back. This is baseball on Exports Network. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. 
Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. Tennessee Flight Training. We are training the next generation of pilots. Come and see why Tennessee Flight Training is the best way to learn to fly. Tennessee Flight Training. The skies are calling. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals, owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. All right, we're back here in Loretta at Gary Lamb Field. Going into the bottom of the sixth inning, this is going to be Grant Fisher, Loretta Mustangs third baseman tonight, coming in. Lead off the bottom of the sixth inning for them. Ball's going to be hit fouled over into the third base dugout. Like Coach Moore over there made a good play. Huckable comes set here and delivers. Ball's going to be grounded down third baseline foul. Be 0-2. <laughs> Fisher's going to step back in with uh, no balls, two strikes. Huckable delivers. Swings through that one for strike three. We'll bring back up the top of the lineup. Mason Tidwell. The low rudder Mustangs. Mason Tidwell's going to step in. We'll shortstop the whole game here tonight for the Mustangs. Mason Tidwell. Look what comes set here, delivers. Called ball one. Must have been down. Yeah, look down a little bit over here on this screen that I was watching. And delivers that breaking pitch. It's going to be in the dirt for ball two. Makes it 2 0. Third baseman for summertime. Kane Kennett comes in, says something to Huckable. He steps back on the rubber. Delivers. That's going to be called strike. That's out there, guys. I mean, that's tough for a batter yeah. to go get. So Huck will come set. Delivers oh, that. Dude. That is a – he calls it a strike, and Zach missed it. That was a pretty good breaking pitch. It, it floated right inside on Zach. Zach just didn't get his glove up there to it. But even the count up, two balls, two strikes. Huck will come set here, delivers the tibble. It's going to be down for ball three. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Nobody on here for the Mustangs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Pitch is delivered. Pitch is going to be drove in the right field. It's going to be a long run for Keegan McCafferty. Tibble could get three. Tibble, yeah, Tibble's going to get at least three. He's making his turn. They're going to hold him up at three. Zach Staggs, there's nobody here. He does get an in the park home run on an error, throwing error. Puts Loretta back up. Nice plate one here with one out in the bottom of the six. Makes it three to two as Keegan McCafferty. Oh. I really don't even know who threw it. Can I see? Have Keegan you got on threw video? it into Jackson. No, Keegan threw it into Jackson. Then Jackson 
Anyway, somebody threw it up the line. I don't really know who it was. Somebody threw it up the line. Zach had to go get it. Was nobody here at home when Zach had to go up the line and try to block it up. So uh, he just kind of run by Zach down the line. So be their go ahead run here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Gonna bring up their first baseman. Cason Springer hitting in the two hole today. Hitting from the left side. He ball out. Welcome to delivers. Swings through that one for strike one. Welcome delivers. Gonna be away. Ball two. Makes it two balls, one strike. One out. Springer's gonna tow back in. Which is gonna be in the dirt. Ball three. Make it three one here on Springer. Sorry, Joe. Oh, you're good. Like I stepped on your toes down there, buddy. I feel like I hear a real car alarm now. Yeah, I did too. Off. Three balls, one strike, one out. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The home team, Little Rudder Mustangs. Casey Springer steps back in. Tuckable delivers. Going to foul that ball back. Even everything, or bring us to a full count. Sorry. See, three balls, two strikes. My iPad froze over here. The scoreboard says 3 1, but it is a 3 2 count. Ball's going to be hammered into right field. I think he may have got it. I think he did. He does. Casey Springer just hammers a ball out of the right field fence. Did nobody have a chance to get to that one? Nope. Played another run here in the bottom of the sixth inning to make it four to two. Loretta Mustangs lead. It's like Coach Burleson's going to come out and uh, have a little conversation with Huck on the mound. While he's doing that, we'll take a little break. X, it's baseball on X Sports Network. Tennessee Flight Training. We are training the next generation of pilots. Come and see why Tennessee Flight Training is the best way to learn to fly. Tennessee Flight Training, the skies are calling. All right, we're back. It's Clint Seymour, the catcher for Florida Mustangs here tonight, is going to step in. Another one of them left-handed bats. Number 16, Clint Seymour. Carter Daniel on deck for them. Huck comes set here, delivers. Be down and in for ball one. Huckable delivers. Be down and away for ball two. Make a count 2 0. Do still have the one out here in the bottom of the sixth. We deliver it inside for ball three. Make it 3 0.
Huckleman delivers. Ball's going to be away for ball four. That'll bring up Carter Daniel. So Coach Bartison is going to come out again. So I think he may be making a pitching change. We're going to take a little break with him. Baseball on Exports Network. to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings. Plus, they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. We're back here with one out. Uh, Clint Seymour is turning at first. Looks like he's gonna stay and run for himself this time. Ryder Blackwood does take the mound yes. for Summertown. And Carter Daniels going to step in. Bennett goes to short, and Luffman comes back out to second base. Ball's going to be lifted into right field. It looks it's in no man's land. Can't nobody get there. Keegan McCaffrey's going to come in field. He is going to throw over to third. So they will have runners first and third, one out. And bring up Miles Moore. They're going to get a runner for... Carter Daniel. I wish I had this kid's name. He's run for him all night, and we've cut. I'm sorry, I've cut the cut my picture off, and I can't see his name down there on it. So Miles Moore is going to step in with the runners at first and third. With one. Up. Okay, so number 19 ain't even on their list, so they must have had some number changes. Gonna be delivered away. Ball one. Number 19 just got a report from the announcer here. It's Braden Bennett has come in, which he's been running for Carter all night. Sorry, I didn't have his name, guys. I Miles pitch deliver here to Miles. Miles gonna hit that one. It's a big league pop up. Matthew Luffman's an under makes the play. Got him froze up over here. Had him in a run down. So got he him. is out. That will be the third out of the inning. I don't know how we got him hung up over here, but. I don't know. Got uh, so Clint Seymour running for himself. That will be the third out of the inning. Clint gets hung up over here on third. It's that pop-up was just in the grass. It hit a mile high out there to uh, Matthew Luffman and uh, 
think Matthew done the right thing. Instead of trying to sling that thing home, he just hit his cutoff, which would yeah. be Grayson Burleson. Throwed it to Grayson in the middle of the field, and Grayson turned and had him hung up. So Yeah, I mean, you, you gun that thing home right there. He's yeah. going back to third base. Yeah. But and even if you he probably stays there to see if third base if the catcher catches it if it's a good throw but right by not not taking a chance of making that bad throw I think that was the right decision but oh uh, it's Summertown's last at bat to try to get a couple runs here to get some extra innings or tie get, or go ahead go ahead here oh do we know where we're at in the lineup yeah uh, Zach Staggs. Is it Zach? Is what so it'll I have be on the screen. Be Zach Staggs, Jackson Bennett, Keegan McCafferty coming up for Summertown here in the top of the seventh inning. Unless I forgot to hit next at bat, <laughs> which comes, could be Keegan. Uh, comes off. Uh, oh, there comes Zach. See, yeah, I was it right. is Zach. You was right. So, was, uh, Carter Daniel is going to come out and try to finish the game off here. For hey, he's had a good Loretta. outing. He's got a really good outing. Where's he at on his pitch count? 89. 89 pitches through. Plus, plus or minus, yeah. you know, through six. 88, 89 through six innings. Going to come back out and try to finish this. Look pretty strong. Uh, still in the uh, top of the sixth. Zach Staggs is going to be leading it off here for Summertown. Be the last chance. Summertown does trail four to two here at Loretta Mustangs at Gary Lamb Field. Like I said, the, uh, we'll play again tomorrow night against Loretta at Summertown. Listen, if you can, get on out and come see us. It's going to be supposed to be nice tomorrow, too, ain't it, Will? It's supposed to be a nice day. Will, Will's baseball. like my weatherman. My, Will tells me everything. What time? Wednesday is not looking as good. Yeah, Wednesday don't look real good. Friday don't look real good. But what time I think is the game supposed to be tomorrow? Pretty good. What is it tomorrow? Five and seven. Five and seven. So we do have a JV game and then a high school game after tomorrow. So it'll be five o'clock and seven o'clock tomorrow night at Summertown. So. You know, it's going to be a nice night, especially to be out at the ball field. Yes. Not too hot, not too cold. Don't get many nights like that. Looking around here, don't see no changes on Loretta's defensive side. No, everything looks, I mean, as far as I can tell, everything looks the same. Zach Staggs hit a hard line drive down third baseline. His last at bat against. Got a double out of it. Yes. Against Carter Daniel. Daniel comes set here, delivers. Pitch is going to be down for ball one. Comes back set. Another pitch, down. I think he's working quicker now than he was yeah. previous innings. Seems like he is. He's going to be just stepping out there, taking his sign and going for it. That ball is going to be tapped right back to him. He fields clean, throws over to first. Be the first out of the inning. Number two, Jackson Bennett. Bring up Bennett. One out. Keegan McCafferty will be on deck. First pitch delivered here to Bennett, and he swings through. Strike one. Ball's going to be fouled back over the top of her heads here. There's just another car. That'll be strike two. Bennett goes down 0-2 with one out. Be called strike three. Yes, that breaking pitch is still working for him on the mound here tonight. Yes, that's, it is. I mean, that's a good pitch. I think as a hitter, though, either side, I think as a hitter, you, when you go down 0-2, you got to be expecting it. Yes. But he's been doing it to us all night with that pitch. Keegan McCafferty steps in. Be the Eagles' last chance of the night. First pitch called strike on the outside corner. Keegan swings through that fastball. That was over his head. He swung through that one, goes down 0-2. Daniel still got quite a bit of zap on that ball to be at 95 pitches. Yes, 97. Pitch is going to be outside. That ball hit 89 is what the. Yeah, after 97 pitches, still 89. So, yeah, he's looking good tonight. 
It's going to be called strike three on that outside corner for Keegan McCaffrey. That will end the ball game as Loretta gets the win here at Gary Lamb Field tonight, four to two against Summertown. Like we talked about earlier, there will be a uh, rematch tomorrow night at Summertown's field. So, uh, hey, all we ask for varsity at seven. Right? Yes, yes, JV at five, varsity at seven. You know, when we come down here tonight, you know, we we will come up here and, and uh, all we asked for was a good game. And you know, this is a good game. It I mean, is. You know, it you was. lose you lose four to two. I mean, I think people done their job on both sides. Summertown had an error here and an error there, and I think uh, those errors come back to bite you. They do, they do. You know, errors and walks they come back to bite you. And, you know, Loretta had a few themselves, but uh, in the end game, they got the best of us tonight. We'll just come back. You know, got the best of summer down here tonight. We'll come back tomorrow night and see if we can't do something a little different. Will, I think you've been set up down here since Friday. Now you've got to pack your stuff up. Now you've got to carry it with you tonight. You can't leave it here. All right, so it's all got to go home tonight. Uh, but for Timmy Kenny, Mr. Joe Counton, Mr. Will Pettis, we'll talk to y'all tomorrow night. This is Baseball on Exports Network. Going the distance with local.